Hi gang, Rob here. It is 25 September 2013 and I've been digesting some news today that is, uh, well it's pretty disturbing. Some of you uh, coffee drinkers out there might be aware that in January at a stockholders meeting of Starbucks, Chief Executive Officer Howard Schultz <clears throat> In response to some flack he took for some from some stockholders after it, after he threw the corporate support of Starbucks behind uh, behind gay marriage legislation in the state of Washington, he held his ground. He uh, <clears throat> he basically told those stockholders if they were upset with the bottom line results of that action that they should st sell their Starbucks stock and invest in other companies. Uh, that's not the disturbing part. It is disturbing, but not the most disturbing aspect of this. It's what happened afterwards. And I didn't really see this reported in the news, but in the months that followed, thousands upon thousands of homosexuals, uh, married and not married, in organized fashion, showed up at Starbucks locations, primarily in conservative areas, and engaged in public displays of, inf of affection, uh, homosexual affection, and even having sex on couches inside Starbucks locations. Of course, this, uh, this alienated a large portion of Starbucks clientele. And in an effort to, to maintain some semblance of profitability, Starbucks had to change its stance on the gay marriage issue so that it wouldn't alienate most of its conservative or moderate customers. What's that? You're saying that the homosexuals, the gays, did not do that? Yeah, you're right. You know, what group would organize and do something that stupid to take the goodwill of a corporation who supports it and publicly embarrass it and back it into a corner so it had no solution but to reverse its stance and welcome everyone. Yeah, the homosexual community, the organized homosexual agenda, and the keepers of that agenda would never do something that stupid. Who would do something that stupid? Well, sadly, as an American gun owner and patriot and proponent of the Second Amendment, people who believe as I do about our freedoms and our right to bear arms did something that stupid. Last month, recognizing that Starbucks <clears throat> had a long-standing policy to respect uh, the laws of each state it has stores in, allowing gun owners to exercise the rights afforded them by the Constitution by the states they live in while in Starbucks locations. Gun owners decided to have a Starbucks appreciation day and walk around in Starbucks openly carrying pistols with AR-15s strapped over their shoulders and they chose to do it in areas that were highly anti-gun. Brilliant. And when Starbucks was forced by the court of public opinion to change its effective policy and ask gun owners not to bring weapons into their store because they were scaring the rest of their customers, what did we do? What did we responsible law-abiding gun owners do we threw a fit and asked people to boycott Starbucks. What did we expect? What did we expect? You have a business who's trying to make a profit, who's trying to provide quality products, coffee, for goodness sake, to everybody who wants a good cup of coffee without having to be in the midst of political protest. It's ridiculous. You know, we need to think long and hard as organized groups of gun owners about what the object of our association is. 
Now, what is our agenda? Are we really here? Do we really band together as one voice? to secure the rights afforded us under the Second Amendment of the Constitution? Or are we a bunch of irresponsible pariahs who just want a fight? I suggest if our objective is to build public opinion, build public awareness of the historic value of the right of the people to keep and bear arms, that we do so gently we communicate respectfully and we remain sensitive to those people who are not educated on this issue. We attract them rather than alienate them. As the master of conservative politics, Ronald Reagan did. Making people uncomfortable, throwing things in their face that scare them does not serve the political process of the conservative gun owner. Think long and hard before you sit down at the gun store talking about boycotting, boycotting Starbucks. And let's look each other in the eye and realize who caused this mess. Now I'm off to get a cup of coffee at my local Starbucks. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp.